Klein Perik Dalad Mishnah Zayin. Mishnah Zayin of the fourth chapter of Kilai. Says the Mishnah. Hanotea Shura Achat Betoch Shelo. Shura Achat Betoch Shel Chavero. If you planted, if I have one row of gufanim, of vines, in my field, and one row of vines in my friend's field. So in the last Mishnah, we learned that if you have Shtaim Kinegi Shtaim Bachad Yosei Zanav, if you have two and two and one. If you have two and two, let's just look for a second here in our chart. Okay, two and two, and one is and one extends. Then that's considered a carrot. Okay, so uh, here we're talking about what if what if these two? Let's see if I can get this a little bit more centered. That'll work. No, you know what? Let's make it smaller and move it over. Here we go. What if these two are in one vineyard? Let's put a line here, right? I just put a, f and there's a fence in between. Mine are on one side of the fence, and yours are on another side of the fence. Is that, is that considered one karen or not? That's the case of our Mishnah, okay? So our Mishnah says, if you have shura achat betoch shalo, one row in my field and one in your field, v'derech hayachid, v'derech harabim be'emsa, even if I have a, an individual path, a private path, or it's even a path that is used by many be'emsa, or or if I have a fence that's lower than 10 tvachim, those are mitzvot. They are combined together, and all of this is considered one kerem, and therefore the distance I have to have between, between each of my plants and any other plants that I want to plant, I'm sorry, each of my vines and any other plants, is four amot, like we learned before, like we learned previously. It's, it's, I have, it's like I have a kerem, okay? And therefore, like Beitila, I have to have a distance of four amo. So in this case, if I have, it, even if I have, if I have one, two, three, if I have three on one side of the fence, I'll just move these over a little bit. Okay. And then I have, make a little, I have a, like, you know, I have a, I have a private thoroughfare running in between. And then three on the other side, and those, and there's a fence in between, or a chavis in between. Nonetheless, you still have your arba amot, your arba amot separation, one between the other. Okay, you have to, you have, to have a separation of arba amot between, if I want to plant on either side, according to, on either side of the, of the field. Either over here or other here, I have to separate arba amot, and then I can plant something else. I can plant some other thing over here after the arba amot distance. Gavoa asarat vachim, but if my fence, now let's say this is a fence, it's not a thing. If the fence is more than four vachim high, is the ten tefachim high, i.e., it's a legitimate gader, it's a fence. Then eno mitzarfot, that's a separation. Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Rabbi Yehuda says im ersan bilimal. Ersan means to combine them, to like weave them together. So, let's say for example, in this case, I'm on one side of this ten tefachim fence, and he's on the other side of the ten tefachim fence. Just for argument's sake, we'll say we, that that happens to be. And but what happens is, as we all know, if you've ever seen vines, the vines are planted on the ground, and then they spread around. And so what, if I, what happens if I, I have a ten tefachim fence? So therefore, there's a separation. I only have three vines. So in theory, all I need is a separation of, of arba tefachim over here. But if I'm irsan lemala, let's say I combine them together on the fence, because remember, if you've ever seen vi vineyards, especially in Israel today, when they take vineyards, they plant, they have these lattice work. They have these like strings that they plant, and then the vines grow on the, on the lattice work, and that's how they hang. So if you took the vines and you hung them on this together, on this fence, on this ten tefachim fence, says Rabbi Yehuda, harei elu mitzdarfot. We're actually going to see the idea of, of aris, of the co combination of com combining vines together. We're going to see that in Perek Vav. So uh, in all these cases, so that in, Rabbi Yehuda says that if you made an aris from them, then even though they are separated by a fence, they are mitzdarek, they are combined. Just to note, the Bartunura says that when derech harabim and derech hayachid, if there's a path, that's only if the path is not Rochav Shemona Amot. Because if the path was Shemona Amot, then, we, then of course the two, then the two rows would not be combined together. So that's only when you have, when you have a path. Let's you know, let go back. I, I had my path there, I think. If the path is not eight Amot, there we go. Here's my path, right? Oops. Let's redo that. I don't know. Whatever. If the path is not eight Amot, then they wouldn't be combined. All right. We'll stop here. If you have any comments or questions. Please, as always, feel to contact me at rspolter at gmail.com. And we'll, there we go. And we'll dedicate the learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.